Staff Sergeant, U.S. Army. Third place, Columbus, Ohio. Primary specialty, infantry squad leader. Secondary specialty, small arms armorer, artillery coordinator. Falcon glider pilot, small arms repairman, qualified expert. M14, M16, M16, M19, eliminate one on a pistol. Familiar with all NATO and Warsaw Pact small arms as well as domestic civilian arms. Graduated, advanced infantry training, finished in top 10 of his class. Preferred weapon, M16. Worked as an infantry squad leader and small arms attack specialist on the G.I. Joe team. He can coordinate a tactical strike force of any size with speed, skill, and unerring precision to effectively achieve the mission objective. Hunt is a highly motivated, systematic individual. He's a stand-up guy who doesn't blow his cool in a firefight. Hunt was part of the original G.I. Joe team from its inception. He finished his tour of duty and decided that he had his fair share of infantry soldiers. He wanted to pursue an engineering degree and then started his career in his hometown. Despite his numerous job offers, Hunt still felt the desire to crawl in the mud and jump in a foxhole with his comrades. As soon as he received word that the original team was reorganizing, Hunt jumped on the first plane back. He's a stand-up kind of guy who knows to keep his head down during a firefight. As squad leader, Hunt is always ready to cross the front lines and support his teammates. It's up to him to take the point to fight back situations. So Carol Hunt smiled. My first choice is platoon squad leader. Grunt has proven his talents on the battlefield. He knows when to advance and when to duck and keep his head down in a firefight. The troops trust him to maintain composure and let them through bad situations. He's always ready to take the point and volunteers for every mission. Duke has to offer. I consider the man as the backbone of what every infantry trooper should strive to be. I expect results, not excuses. I didn't want any part of the business world. Give me a bunch of guys who are always there for you when the chips are down and Cobra is breathing down your neck. You have to lead your troops by setting the example right on the battlefield, not by barking out orders from behind us. Special Mission Force. Its purpose? To defend human freedom against COBRA, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. Fighting for freedom, we're in the struggle, we're in 